explaining how to know when it's time to replace your clutch plates and your fibre plate here. So firstly we're going to go be going over your steel clutch plate. How do you know when it's time to replace it? So looking at this one, what you're going to be looking for is purple in your clutch plate. So going around, this one does have purple in it if I can find you. If you can see around there, there will, there's light shades of purple. That's what you're looking for. That tells you that it's time to replace it. I'll see if I can go on. It's not coming up very well on the camera, but it's around the inside pretty much. So I'm go out like that. You can't really see it. Then you go next. You want to get your manual out for this one. You're going to be measuring your wee fibers, fiber bits. There you're going to be measuring see see if they're in spec. So the specific. Sp Specification will be in your owner's manual and how like how wide they should be. So you want to check if they are in spec. And if they're not, then it's time to replace. And also if they if it's purple or discoloured, it's time to replace. As this one is going under your clutch basket here. Um, what you're going to be looking for is a grooving. I don't know how well you can see. You don't want to file it, that's a big no no. You will see people say file it. So you can just run your finger along, and if it's rough, that pretty much just tells you yeah, it needs needs your new clutch basket. Um, if I can get in there, it's a perfect view there. Um, zoom in a little, and you can see the grooves there. Um, yeah, that's just saying it's time to replace it. How you get that off is taking. By taking this out, making sure there's a little ball bearing in there, that little thing there, make sure you don't lose that. Then you just want to undo your bolt and there yeah, behind that there's other shit, so I've got to still still get that out. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much how how you tell when your clutch basket's due. You do not want to keep running it like this. You're gonna notice a difference like if you check another basket and you're going to notice the feel compared to this because this is all worn out so there's going to be more there's more play for for like your your fiber plate here so we'll put that in and show you how much it always goes it always goes um bloody it always goes your steel plate then of your fibre plate. I'm just putting this in to show you show you the play. If I can get that in. There you go. See if you've got your grooves there, there's gonna be more play forward and back than there is supposed to be. If you can see there there's a little bit of play. I don't know how well you can see there's just all bits. Like the side to side. I can feel it, I don't know if you can see it. Very minimal. But it's still gonna you're still going to notice it a bit. It's not going to be as nice as if you've got a new clutch basket. Um, so that's pretty much it. Summing over. Hey, um, so for your clutch basket, you want to make sure it's got no grooves in it. Such as you can see there. You can just run your finger along there and you'll feel it to test it or have a close look. Um, going up to your clutch plate. You're looking for decoloration. Um, I don't know, oh, you can see a bit of purple there. There is a lot more purple than you can see in the camera, and that just tells you it's time to replace. Going on your fiber plate, you want to be replacing it when it's out of spec, so you want to measure it, um, th thickness, it's just measure it, make sure it's in spec. There will be, sp yeah, like specifications in your owner man owner's manual, so you just want to check that, make sure it's all in speak um very easy job takes you about 30 minutes maybe less when you've got your parts um yes that's about it thank you for watching please subscribe if you enjoyed and peace out